rangers, gingers, carrot tops, aka redheads. These people make up fewer than 2% of the human population. But in addition to being breathtakingly beautiful, it turns out that they have a higher tolerance for pain. In all of us humans, there's a gene called the melanocortin 1 receptor, or MC1R, and it is responsible for producing the skin and hair colour pigment called melanin. Now, people with red hair have a mutated or slightly different variant of this MC1R receptor. Now, as well as affecting hair and skin colour, MC1R also determines pain response via your natural opiates that your body makes. And of course, these opiates do their pain killing via your opiate receptors. With all of this in mind, researchers at the Massachusetts General Hospital got their hands on a mischief of red-haired mice and they science the heck out of them. They found that the red-haired meeses had altered variants of MC1R, which then set off a whole chain of chemical reactions. Boom, 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 boom. End result, more pain-killing opioid receptors and so, less pain. No, I did not expect that. So this is probably the reason that redheads can better handle more electric shocks and sharp stabbing pains than their darker haired counterparts. So it's not simply the shock of red hair that makes them better at tolerating painful shocks. It's also their natural endorphins. Man, 